Oh, well, hello, welcome again to our reading of the Greek New Testament. I'm reading 1 Corinthians and up to chapter 10, verse 23. So Paul continues, Panta exesti al upanta sumfere, panta exesti al upanta oikodome. Medes to hiatu, ceteto ala to tu heteru. Pan ho ten atop in Makello, Polumenon estiete made in Anaquinon testieten sun edesin. Tu curuga hegeekai to pleroma artes. Etis kale humas turn apiston, kai thelete poruestai, pan to paratidemenon. Humin estiete, maiden anaquinontes dieten diedesin. Ean de tis huminepe, tuto hirothuton esti, me estiete diecenon ton me nusan te kaiten sun edesin. Sun edesin de lego uki ten hia tu, ala tu heteru, attain to heteru. Hinati ga he eleutheria, murquinatai hupo ales sun edesios. I'll just pause there. So he's used this expression before, so um, new to plural singular verb, all things are lawful, but not all things are helpful, are expedient, are needful, are useful, or any of those things. Uh, all things are lawful, but not all things, oikodome, are edifying, to put it into Latin. It means building up, so edify is a good word here. Not all things are edifying. Again, new to plural singular verb. Uh, Medes, so we get an imperative here. No one seek the thing of himself, so perhaps his own uh, ends, his own affairs, but the that of his the other one, that of the other person, perhaps it's good here. Panto in Makello poluminon in the estiete. Yeah, so this again is imperative. So it's eat everything which is poluminon. This is from polio. It's an epsilon contract verb. This is a passive participle. So eat everything that's being sold in makello. Now this is from a, a neuter noun, second declension, uh, makellon. And it's an example of a Latin word that's been taken over into Greek. You get these... Some of these in the New Testament, not a huge number. You get some, quite a few actually in Mark's Gospel. Don't get very many in Paul. The Latin word is makellum. And a makellum was a market where you buy provisions. Uh, in the context here, this probably refers to a meat market. Uh, like a butcher. And um, in fact, if you happen to go to uh, modern Athens down, I think it's Athenas Street, you'll come across a huge big meat market where you buy meat. It's like a huge big open butcher shop and that's probably not dissimilar to what we had in the ancient world. Um, and of course, as I mentioned before, the meat was generally, uh, when, it was when the animals were sacrificed, they were generally sacrificed to uh, various gods. And so it was very difficult to buy meat that was not sacrificed to gods. And so he says here, all that which is being sold in the meat market, eat it. Made in aquinontes, not, um, uh, well, it's almost uh, judging here, but it's almost inquiring, not, not inquiring too deeply about where it comes from. Diaten sun edesin, on account of conscience. Uh, now we get a partial quotation here from Psalm 24. It's sort of like without asking questions is the thing here. 
uh, we get a partial quotation here from Psalm 24.1 for the land or the earth and the pleroma, the fullness of it. So that which it contains, uh, understand, belongs to, to Kuriu, belongs to the Lord. Aetis Kale, if someone uh, asks you, someone among the unbelievers, the unfaithful, so the unbelievers, so if one of the unbelievers, unbelievers invites you, Kaleo means to call, but it can also have that secondary meaning to invite someone. So if someone of the unbelievers invites you and you wish uh, you wish to go, another imperative, eat everything that is laid before you. This is from Paratithami, to place beside. So eat everything that is placed beside you. This is a uh, present passive participle here. Um, made in anacrinontes. Well, again, it's not uh, asking questions. So without asking any questions on account of conscience. Doesn't say whose conscience here. He'll say that a bit later, but on account of conscience. And if someone might say to you, this food, understood, is uh, here a thuton, is that which is sacrificed in the temple. So this is a food that's been sacrificed in the temple, so it's sacrificed to idols or gods and things. May estiete, do not eat it, another imperative, uh, on account of, because of him, of that man, the one having divulged this, and because of conscience. This is from may nuo, to divulge, so you weren't to ask too many questions, but if someone divulges it to you that it is offered to idols, you're not to eat it. This is a perfect participle, the one having divulged. Uh, and I speak of conscience, not the conscience of, your, of, of himself, but the conscience of the other. So in other words, I'm not speaking about your conscience, the how to, really for set how to here, I think. So I'm not speaking about your conscience, but the conscience of the other person, that is, the one who has divulged it. Uh, hina tiga, uh, now that's that combination of hina plus t, uh, simply meaning why. You don't translate the hina uh, in, in order that here, it's just hina t, um, uh, it translated as why. This actually, this one single word, you'll see in Plato, for example, it goes back fairly early. So for why is um, my freedom, hey Eleutheria Mu, why is it being judged by someone else's conscience? So in other words, he says, why should I be judged because of, what I, because of someone else's conscience? And he continues, so he uses these rhetorical questions, and he says now, A, ego karate meteko, tis a blasphemumai hupahu ego, and next page, unfortunately, uh, but I, um, if I share, now the karate is a dative here, uh, dative of attendant circumstances, I think the grammarians call it, um, they love having different names for all the different types of datives and genitives. Um, it's meteko, of course, takes genitive, so it's not after that. So if I, but if I share it kariti with thankfulness, tit blasphema. Why am I blasphemed? So why am I being spoken ill of on behalf of that thing which ego? Eucharisto. So why am I being blasphemed on account of that thing um, for which I have given thanks? Eighty un estiete eighty pinete eighty te poiete panta est doxan theu poiete a proscopoi kai iudaios gineste kai hele si kai te ecclesia to theu. Cathos kago panta pasin, 
Aresco. Made Saturn taught him how to sum for on, ala tot turn polone hina so thosi. And although in many editions the next line is part is part of this paragraph, I'm going to leave this till we do chapter eleven. So eighty eighty, so whether therefore you are eating or whether you are drinking or whether poete you are doing something that indefinite tip uh, imperative here do all things as doxan the you to the glory of God. Now the a proskopoi, this is an alpha privative with this proskopos that we've seen before, um, meaning to stumble, a stumbling block or cause to stumble. So he says, uh, uh, be not a cause of stumbling. So do not be a cause of stumbling here, I think it's imperative, to Jews and to Greeks and to the Church of God. Cathos, just as cargo for Kaiego, I also, uh, Aresco, I please, I am pleasing passing to all people, and Panta is an internal accusative here, in respect of all things. So just as I am pleasing to all people in respect of all things, Metsetone, participle from Satio, not seeking to sum foron mr tu, sum for us here in advantage or benefit. Uh, so not seeking the advantage of myself or my own advantage or my own benefit, but to, that is to sum for on, but the benefit or advantage of the many. Hina, in order that, and we get an aorist passive subjunctive here, they might be saved from Sozo. So, slightly shorter finish there. That's the end now of chapter 10.